Hey guys, it's Alex. Welcome back to Ruby Tutorials for Beginners. In the last tutorial, I taught you about um, if statements. Now, one thing I forgot to mention that is very, very important is comparing, um, you know, comparison expressions. So, um, I forgot to mention that, for example, let's have an A equals to 1 and then a variable B equal to 2. And let's create an if and say a uh, greater than b, let's end it and say put uh, a, right? And when we run that, uh, we're gonna get nothing because a is less than. And let's just write a simple else, put b. There we go, now we know which one is the bigger uh, variable. Um, what if we wanna check if they're both equal, right? So let's, I showed you this and it's else if, you know, um, a equals to b, and then we're gonna say put, put uh, a, and then we're gonna put b. Okay, now I'm gonna run it, I don't know what's gonna happen. We get two and two. Uh, that's because this is uh, wrong, and actually it should be like this, 2 and 2. Now we get 2 and 2 again, but we're getting, an, well, we're not getting an error, but that's not the result that we want, right? Okay, so what is happening? So this equal is actually assigning the variable a the value of b so a becomes 2 so to compare both of them we have to put in 2 equals now we get 2 and 2 but if we have 1 and 2 we should get only 2 right and if I have only 1 equal we get 2 and 2 and that's not the result we want so basically 1 equal sign assigns the value but 2 equal signs compares the value so remember that right there we go, now we get 2. Now, if they're both equal, you should get 2 and 2. Alright, um, now, what if we want to check if, let me just write another uh, if. For example, if A is greater than B, and A is, and B is greater than C, right? So, and actually, I already showed you how. And we're just gonna say put I don't know something. All right. So the and um, sign in Ruby is two ampersand. So this means and. You can also write and. So let's just run that. Well, actually, we don't have C. So we have to create a uh, three, two, and then C equals to one uh, for that to work. And we get, you know, whatever we put in here. Um, so what what this is, is A is greater than B. That This has to return true. And it is true. 3 is greater than 2. And B is greater than C. And that's also true. So that means we have true and true. And it's going to put out that. But what if we create this? What are we going to get? Nothing. Because this is still true. A is greater than B, 3 is greater than 2, and B is greater than C. Well, no, 2 is not greater than 3, so this is true, but this is false. And we have and, if there is like three, uh, three truths and one false, we're going to get false as a result. So this code will not execute because a false has a higher... Uh, I don't know how to say it. It's just that uh, if you have one false, it's going to override everything. And false means that, you know, we won't execute this. Now, what if we want to check uh, or? So if A is greater than B uh, or B is greater than C. So we can write or. This will work. Let's run it. And this is true because this is still true and this is false. But because with an or, only one thing has to be true to execute. So with an and, uh, all everything has to be true to execute. But with an or statement, only one thing has to be true for it to execute. But what if we change uh, this like that? 
that will not execute because both of them are false. But what if we um, set a B to be 2, 3, and then this 4, actually 2, 4, and 3. So let's check that out, and we're getting this. Why is that? So A is greater than B, no, 2 is not greater than 4. Um, this statement is false, and then or B is greater than C, 4 is greater than 3, this is true, so we're getting false and true. As I said, with an or statement, we only need one to be true, that is going to work. Now, we can also write or like this, which is uh, like a pipe, it's two vertical lines, that will give you the same result. So, you can write and like this, or like this, and you can write or like this, or like this. Um, now, a lot of people would say it doesn't matter which one you write, whatever you want. That's not the case. So you should always use, not the keywords, you should always use the sign. For and, use two ampersands, and for uh, or, just use the pipe. Uh, why? Well, because and uh, the and keyword and the or keyword uh, are not as accurate as the signs. So I can't really give an example right now because it's a little more complex, but it's not as accurate. So remember, the accuracy is a little off with the and and the or keywords. So when comparing, just use the ampersand to ampersands for and and the pipe for or. Alright, so that was it. I hope I didn't confuse you a lot. Um, I'm not really good at explaining, but, you know, you, you can read a little bit more about it if it's not clear enough, or just uh, go ahead and try it yourself. That's the best way to learn something. So I'll see you in the next video.